long before dinosaurs roamed the earth. Life had taken to the skies. Today I'll be exploring the canopies of Costa Rica. That is magical. Discovering how wildlife here have evolved to inhabit a world high up in the trees. Absolutely incredible. And beyond. Welcome to the Animals of the Americas. When you think of animals capable of flight, you think of birds, right? But actually, it's insects, like this weevil beetle here, that first evolved flight almost 400 million years ago. Located in Costa Rica's central northwest is the Monteverde Cloud Forest. This incredible location is home to over 100 species of mammals and 425 species of birds. This place is just like loaded with animals and creatures, uh, especially birds. So you get to see quetzals, bellbirds, uh, honey creepers. You get to see howler monkeys. So it, it, it just requires a little bit of observation to pick out like the wonders of the cloud forest. Tell us about this extraordinary tree behind us with this moss growing all over it. A lot of plants and, and creatures, they use that to get their, their, their water resource, which is pretty much essential for life. So can you tell me a little bit about these extraordinary corridors that literally go through the canopies of these trees? The Costa Ricans have developed some really interesting infrastructure to enjoy the cloud forest in a very comfortable uh, way and very convenient. You can see wildlife and biodiversity uh, at an eye level and it brings you to a whole new experience into the cloud forest. Monteverde Skywalk consists of six towering bridges suspended high over the canopy of the cloud forest. The trail is over two kilometers in length and it's here where I make my first sighting. Oh, wow. Did you see that down there? That's a howler monkey, one of the loudest animals on the planet. And they are so incredible because they are territorial with the use of sound, with one howl traveling around eight kilometers in distance. And from a howl to a more subdued hum, I'm meeting one of Monteverde's other inhabitants, the small but mighty hummingbird. There are 324 species of this incredible hummingbird, 54 of which live here in Costa Rica. Locals actually put up this sugar water to encourage the birds to come in. They're related to the swift in the UK. Most of them are lighter than a pound coin. And most amazingly, they're the only bird that can fly backwards. Spending time high up in the forest canopy with all the incredible wildlife got me thinking, what would it be like if I could fly? Well, I'm about to find out. Wow! Look at the view up here! That was awesome. What a rush. Coming back down to earth, but sticking with the treetop theme, I'm heading to the Bogarin Trail to meet a different kind of tree dweller. So if you look up in the tree here, you can see the iconic species of Costa Rica, the incredibly cute three-toed sloth. As gorgeous and as sweet as these creatures are, they are wild animals. And as much as they look like they'd be quite cuddly, actually it turns out they could be quite aggressive. But being wild animals, I'm going to leave this one alone. Well, it's been yet another successful day discovering all the different creatures living high up in the canopies of Costa Rica. But my adventure is not over yet, as I'm yet to explore all that lives beneath the waves. He is 
absolutely massive. And there's still so much more to see.